Hello, everybody, uh, and welcome to a video on Infinite Campus and using the uh, post grades tool to post your quarterly grades. This video is geared towards Northbridge Elementary School. Um, so if you're at the middle school or the high school or another school in another district, uh, the, the settings and services and tools that we have available in Infinite Campus may be different from what you have. So uh, keep that in mind. I will be making a video for Northbridge Middle School and high school um, after this. So, um, so what I have done here is I am logged in as a teacher at Northridge Elementary School. And um, what I'm going to show you is what you need to do to be able to post your quarterly grades. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to log into Infinite Campus. So you see here I'm logged in and I'm on my dashboard. Under instruction, whether you're in the new view or the old view or you have this sidebar collapsed, wherever you are, you want to open up this side menu. And the side menu is going to have um, some different options, instruction, community, and campus tools. You want to make sure that you're in instruction. Okay, so we're in instruction. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down to post grades. So we're going to click on post grades. And post grades is going to bring you to this page, which you're going to see a list of your students over here on the left hand side. You're going to see a percent column, which in Northridge Elementary School you are not going to use. You're going to see um, the grade, uh, which you have assigned a student. So uh, you have a drop down of 3, 2, 1, or NA, depending on what um, task or standard you're grading. It could be on a scale of 1 to 3 or a scale of 1 to 4, um, including N and also NA. So um, keep that in mind. So I'll, I'll explain that in just a little bit more detail in just a second. The next column over here that you have are your report card comments. These comments are going to be specific to each task or standard. Generally, teachers at Northridge Elementary School are not going to fill out a comment for every single task or standard. That's going to be a lot of tasks and standards to be um, commenting on. So I do not uh, think that you're going to be doing that. So for most um, tasks and standards, the comments are going to be empty. I'll show you which one you are going to use, though, for sure. And then you have the canned comment uh, column. We are not using canned, com canned comments as of this recording, which is October 28th, 2022. Uh, so there, if you click on the manage button, there aren't going to be any for you to choose from. So you can just ignore that for now. All right. So those are the columns here in this spreadsheet. And what you're going to see up top here are uh, some different settings that you can change to change this view here. So first thing, if these things here are grayed out if you can't type anything in the percent column or pull down a grade or post a comment or manage it means the grading window is closed or the task or standard is not being graded so um, if you're expecting that the grading window is open and you're still seeing it grade then you want to check a couple of things the first thing you want to check up here is your term for some teachers when they were logging in the first time the term was defaulted to quarter four no idea why um, but you want it to be obviously on quarter one. So we want to select quarter one here. The next thing you want to check is your section here, which section you have. Most teachers should have two sections. You should have a homeroom section and a core academic section. The homeroom section is going to be where you're going to grade your general behaviors um, and your work habits, and also put in your teacher narrative, the general overview, the comments that you're going to give for each student. Johnny's a pleasure to have in class. Um, uh, he needs to do his homework more or whatever. Whatever those general comments that you're going to put in for each student, you're going to do that under teacher narrative, and that's in your homeroom section. I'm going to show you that in just a moment. We're in this particular view right here, standard grading task. So see where it says post by and then standard grading task? This is allowing you to grade the standard for each student. So it has your whole list of class of students here, and you're grading this one shows self-control and makes responsible choices. So if you don't like that view, you can change this view and it's going to change some of these buttons up here. One thing before I do that though, I want to show you is the fill percent grade and comment tool. This is going to be where if you wanted to start off with having um, all students receive twos and you're just going to change a couple to threes or maybe a couple to ones, then you can fill everybody's in. And what you're going to do to do that is you're just going to click on the button it's going to bring out this side menu. And you're not going to touch percentage because, like I said before, you're not using percentage. You're going to change the grade. You're going to change that to whatever you want it to be. So say we want it to be 2. You're going to hit 2. And you're going to um, see that you have this option here, students all or students empty. So if you want to override whatever you've put in here already, if you've put anything, then you're going to choose all. If you've already put in some grades, like say you know that um, 
just going to cancel this for now. Say you know that some students here are going to receive a 2, like this student's going to get a 2 and this student's going to get a 2, but the rest of them are going to get 3s. You can set those first, and then what you're going to do is click on this fill percent grade comment button, and then choose the grade that you want. So you want everybody to get 3s that aren't empty. So 3s are selected here, and then students are going to be changed to empty. So that's only going to fill in the grades for the students who have empty. So if you've already set the grades for some students. Like I said, you had one, a couple of students that you're going to um, have be twos, and the rest of them are going to be threes. Set the twos first, and then select three here in the fill tool, and then choose the empty students to grade those. Then you're going to hit fill, and then OK. So we're going to do that right now, fill. And it didn't do anything because there's nothing empty. So that's OK. All right, um, but that's that's the general gist of, of that. There is another uh, menu that pops up. Let me let me do that so I can show you. So fill grades to and we'll do all. We'll hit fill, and then you get this confirm button here. All students with active tasks will be updated. Continue. You would hit OK to do that. I'm going to hit cancel because I don't want to mess up this teacher's grades. Okay, so that is the standard slash grading task tool um, view. And you select that right here where you have post by. Okay. So um, I'm going to click on this menu here and you're going to see your other options. So your two other options are all standards and grading tasks or student. So if you want to grade student by student, all the standards and tasks for each student, you can switch to that view and you'll see that's okay. You'll see now that I'm grading a student up here. And these are all the standards and tasks that the student is going to be graded on. All right. Um, the other view that you have, the third view, is all standards and grading tasks. And what all standards and grading tasks is, is it shows you all the students with all the standards and grading tasks underneath them. And you just scroll through and go through the menu one by one. Sorry, I'm moving things around here so you can see better. OK, so here I have one student, bunch of standards and tasks fill in the information, fill in the grades, another student, bunch of standards and tasks. So you just keep scrolling through and you can go through it like that. It does not matter how you do it. However, it makes the most sense to you. It's all the same. Uh, so whatever is the easiest workflow for you is perfectly fine. All right, that's going to be that one there. Um, what else did I want to show you? Oh, yes. OK, so the no one, number one question has been, where are you going to put in the general comments? And I already kind of talked about this briefly. Um, we're going to go back to standard grading task. And um, oh, uh, and I, what I'm going to do is number one for section, like I said before, the behavior, work habits, and teacher narrative is going to be under homeroom, and all your content is going to be under core academics. I'm going to go to that tab in just a second, but I want to talk about teacher narrative right now. So um, for teacher narrative, we're in standard grading task. This We're going to change the task here to teacher narrative. And now this is where you're going to go one by one for each student and type in their comments. Pleasure to have in class needs to be more consistent with homework. Whatever you want to type in there is fine. You have a 2,500 character limit. Please don't write more than 2,500 characters for student comments um, unless you need to. And then you'd write an email because you're not going to put that in the comments for the report card. Um, OK, so that's where that is. So teacher narrative is for the general overview comments for the term. That's in your homeroom section. OK, when we switch over to the core academics, the other question that has come up has been, how do we mark standards that we are not grading? Uh, so there are going to be some standards at various grade levels that you're not going to be grading this term, or you're only grading one term throughout the school year. So you know what those are. I don't know what those are, and that's OK. But when you come to one of them, it's very simple what you're going to do. So say the, the task that you're not going to grade right now is this one, W1, writes opinion pieces, which introduce the um, topic, uh, it seems like. So, um, so say you're not grading this task. This is where you're going to use that fill percent grade comment tool. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on uh, the pull down menu under grade. I'm just going to choose this NA right here. I'm going to choose NA, then I'm going to hit fill. And I'm going to hit OK. 
and that's going to fill in NA for all of this, uh, all the students for this particular standard. If there's another one, um, so say this one, I'm going to go to demonstrates understanding of the organization, blah, 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 blah. Same thing, fill percent, grade, NA, fill, OK. Then once you've done all that, then if you want to switch the view to all standards and grading tasks and student, those grades will be will will populate into those views as well. So you'll be able to um, mark however you need to as you go through, um, and uh, and and assign the grades that you you feel that you need to do that. Um, the other thing, the question that has come up has been as I've been switching screens, I've been getting a pop up here. Let me let me show you. I'm going to change this to. Okay, so say I go to leave a page. I'm going to go to a different view. Um, I want to go to, um, I don't know, a different standard. So I'll click that. So I'm getting this pop up here. You're now leaving this page. If you continue, any unsaved data will be lost. Pay attention when you see that pop up. That means that you haven't saved the information on this page. So you generally, I'm sure, you want to save what you've entered in here already. So do not do what I've been doing. Do not hit OK, just OK and move on. Make sure you go back, you hit cancel. And then you're going to use this nifty save button right here. OK, so you're going to click on save. And that's going to save the page. Then you can move on to the next standard or the next view, however you want to do that. Um, but that save button is very important. Um, it's not as um, finicky, or it should not be as finicky as iPass was, where I've heard teachers say that they've had to hit save, log out, log back in, hit save, log back, log back. You should not have to do that at all. You should just be able to hit save and go throughout. Um, let us know if you have any issues with that. Uh, the best way of reporting any issues or questions is always to put in a help desk ticket. Um, the help desk ticket will go to either me, Julie, or Tiago, um, and we will address it as quickly and efficiently as we possibly can. Um, it's new to all of us, so if there is something that we don't know, we'll figure out the answer and, and get back to you and, and figure out what we need to do. I believe that is all that I needed to talk about for you. Um, if there's anything I missed, I will add on to this video. Um, I hope you found it helpful. And if you do have any questions, like I said before, please um, reach out uh, by way of a help desk ticket. And good luck with this grading season. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.